we always we always say that that oh, you know Drake. You said, but not not, not 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 we not we, but you know people like Taco. How is it people, not album of the year? Yeah, see, finally now we're getting it's down the only to album, that shit. This the only album niggas have talked about for more than two days. That shit yeah. just dropped. That's why. And niggas are still talking about it. After Less than a week later, of course they are. <laughs> niggas I, I start talking about so. Utopia three days after it dropped. That shit People was nowhere near a about hot Utopia topic. Last week. Who? Hey, in this whole Utopia versus the Fat D conversation. It's, that's literally Drake being brought revived up. revived it. Nobody was talking about it until Drake dropped again. Not really. Yeah, not really. Nobody was talking about it. What album is oh, been talking about not... more than Fat D? <laughs> Sorry, nah, I gotta, I gotta switch that name real quick. But um, I mean, of course it's gonna be talked about. That shit just dropped, bro. Bro, nobody talked about Utopia after two days, dog. Dog, I, I don't know what you. Did we even at? do an album review? No, I don't know. Did you even listen to it? You didn't listen to it, Paul, did you? I listened to like five songs, yeah. I saw yeah, how are you saying all this when you haven't even listened to it. How am I saying nobody has talked about it if I haven't listened to it? They don't, what do you mean? It's two different conversations. Nah, bro. Once you listen to it, and then I you'll, only you'll see, see people it. talk about it if I listen to it? Yes, sir. Jazz, have you seen anybody talk about Utopia? No. <laughs> Have you seen we're, 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 about... we're keeping a we're keeping a, an, an honest buck. This might be the only album that has gained. I mean, question you know, oh, is Drake is Drake. That's true and all, but like there's still like Travis Scott is not someone to sleep on. Even who else dropped this year? Didn't Uzi drop this year? Am well, I tripping? Travis Travis Uzi's came five. off a controversy and not dropped for five years, and nobody talked about that shit for longer than three days. And they, were, and they were hyping that shit up because this, for all the dogs, you know, it's like he just announced it this year. He put it out this year. You know Utopia crazy? Been... I, think, I think niggas talked about Jackman more than they did Utopia because that Gang Gang song. Oh, Market? Yeah. No, because, like, they thought it was a wild-ass song. So niggas actually talked about it for, like, a week. Like, it was a conversation topic. And Drake, and Drake, Drake, Drake was Utopia on that. Every week. No. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm losing the wrong Twitter. Algorithm. Yes, I do. I think you are. What, they, what, what are they saying about, about it? it? What are they even saying about the album? They're debating, oh, what is the best feature? They're saying, oh, what? how does this stack up against the other, you know, since it's been months, so how does it stack up against the other projects? Like, people are considering this his graduation and all that type of shit. What the I don't agree, fuck? but... Oh, Jess, have you seen any of this? No, nigga. I think it's... I, 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 I see... I see music Twitter too. I, I, I I'm probably more on there. Like, Talkers <laughs> might be more on there. I'm probably second, and you probably don't see music Twitter at all, Apollo. But I'd be seeing music Twitter, and I've never. I, I did, did all. All I see is is Drake. If I'm being honest, this is Drizzy. Just drop, bro. That's what I'm saying. Bro, but like, but even you're, when you're, the album drop for Utopia, bro. All right, give it three months. Let's see if people are still talking about Fat D. Give it three months. They always people do. People are though, still talking the, about CLB. What are you talking about? And not honestly, never mind. And her I've loss. Never heard, I have not seen a soul talk about CLB. Or, or her, actually, her loss, even less. I've seen people talk about CLB, CLB maybe like once every other month. But I haven't heard Bro, a soul You bring talk it up every single podcast. You bring not Drake up every single podcast. What? Not at all. That's just a lie. <laughs> That's literally a blatant lie. You bring Drake up every podcast we do. Not like it's, it's even a joke where like me and Jazz won't even say anything about Drake and you'll bring him up. Not at all. But that, I don't I don't but. speak for the entire world, bro. It's just me. It's just a joke for the for the podcast. Bro, CLB was a conversation for months after it dropped. Not at all. By who? By it, it's talking it about the is, sexy though. you know his song. Like it's it always like one it song it that stays is. in conversation. It always is. Even I mean, it's even off the seven a.m. bridal path. Even off of Utopia, like the biggest song on there is the one, the one that Drake is on, and then people are people were, and that is, no, it is true. And then people were very true. And then people were begging him to put Travis on this album. Cause, yeah, we need we need a meltdown part two. We need a meltdown part two. He didn't give it to them, but he he didn't like he actually. Whenever Utopia dropped, the only thing trending was like Travis Drake and Utopia, because Drake had a feature on there. Absolutely. Nah, y'all must be reading the the the. the 
all I can say, things, bro. Yeah, I can I'm, say I'm is, still be on Twitter. Y'all niggas might be on like the new X or some shit. I'm just not seeing anything y'all are seeing. All I, I can say is there's been so many albums to drop this year and not one has gained this much traction. Like not Uzi, not Trav, not none of these niggas. And they're yeah, all these the are This shit is getting not, not crazy conversation. Know, this shit is blowing up more on TikTok than any other album has this year. Like what other album is blown up this much on TikTok? I see every single sound being used by Drake song. The whatever I want shit is blowing up crazy on single, every single social media. Nah, real shit. This isn't even a lot. I haven't seen a single person use the Fat D on a TikTok except for the Yeet song. That's that's literally it. So you have seen it? Only for only Yeet. Yeah, only one song. You just said you haven't seen anything used for it, and you just said that you only saw that, so you did see it. Yeah, I said I haven't seen anything used for it except for the Yeet song. And that's going insane. What? <laughs> that's literally every single TikTok is the Drake saying whatever I want. And it's the Adonis shit. The Adonis saying my man, my man, my man shit. But you probably got to be on relationship side of TikTok to see that. <laughs> but like every single sound is like used by a Drake song. Bro, what even dropped this year, dog? I'm, so I'm fucking saying Jackman and Utopia. That's it. No. How is it? No. Look at look at the slim pickings that he has to beat. Man, yeah, the the estate sale, the only thing that is the only thing kind yeah, of I mean, putting up a little bit of a fight. If Tyler would have dropped an actual album, I, it wouldn't be a debate. He probably would get album of the year easily. But what is that? Let, like? let me ask. Let me JPEG ask. JPEG Mafia. Let me ask this then. That shit's golden. Let me ask this then. What What would you? Okay, so I kind of want. I mean, you don't have to go too in depth, but. Uh, let's, let's start with let's start with Jazz and then let, let's let's go with Apollo. But I, if you can give like a little like a little mini review, like what are, what are the best best parts of the album? You think like what are your favorite parts? Um, what's your favorite song? And what do you rate it out of ten? Jazz, go first if you can. Because uh, I won't lie, I, when I first listened to it, like I, I wasn't feeling it at first. But the things I've noticed with Drake, at least with like his most recent albums, like of course, it's, and, like I will say, like they're not gonna hit as much as the like, the older ones. And people are like, oh, we want old Drake, we want old Drake. I think Sean C said it best, and then Paul came in here and said it too. But he was like, I think people want like it's not necessarily they want like R and B Drake specifically, or they want like rapper Drake specifically. They probably just want like Drake when he's like in his at his hungriest type shit. But the thing is, Drake only you know Drake just is he's accomplished so much. He's this fucking rich he's like fucking kid now all this kind of shit like that he really don't have you know he's not maybe as hungry as he once was there's nothing wrong with that but you know that's just maybe the truth the truth of the matter so at first you know at first listen i wasn't really feeling it i mean, I was feeling some songs but like as an entirety as a whole wasn't feeling it second third listen was kind of fucking with it a little bit more i will say like you know not every song is my favorite nothing like that but i think it's a solid record people calling it mid i think it's kind of crazy like I don't think because mid like again like mid is so overused and that everyone thinks that oh mid mean this you know mid, everything's mid everything's mid everything's mid coming from TikTok culture coming from Twitter culture type shit like that. Um, but no, nah, I, I think you know to me I think it's a solid probably six point five seven out of ten. Not Drake's best work obviously, but still a very solid album. Got a lot of good tracks on there. I love Virginia Beach. It wasn't it, like the, even that song wasn't hitting me for at first, but like after the second and third listen to that shit like on the on the album I was like this shit. Is Fire! It's one of my favorites. I have that shit on repeat and gym type shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Like Loki, like uh, how everyone's been saying, like the first seven, eight tracks are very, very solid. Of course, ADM and Charlotte might be the best one on there just objectively, because like ADM, Charlotte, he's just rapping his ass off on that shit. Like with the with the fucking conductor beef coming from Griselda, he fucking snapped on that shit. Um, even that fucking sexy red song. I know people hate that song. They think it, it, should, it shouldn't be on the album. That kind of stuff I like just that. Voted. Yeah, I fuck with that shit too. I can see that shit bumping in the club. It's mad cool. Um, everyone is taking this taking this chance to just be like mad misogynistic and just be on some weird shit towards sexy red too. You know, y'all can go ahead and stop that shit. Absolutely. Um, but my favorite song, probably Virginia Beach, at least currently right now. But like eight, like I said, like eight AM Charlotte, like objectively is probably the best song on there because he's just rapping his ass off, good beat, good flow. Hell yeah. Uh Apollo? Um. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The better question is, what songs don't I like on this album? So let me just go through the list right quick. Bro, it's Prestige Three Glazer. But go ahead. Absolutely, I've been known to say that on multiple occasions. So, Virginia Beach probably one of my favorite songs on the album. 
Because as I've said, that song single-handedly undid five months worth of therapy. I was going to therapy, you know, like maybe I was the problem. Fuck, 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 fuck. And I heard that song and the first three words Drake said, I was like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I did my thing. Mean? I did my thing. Huh? What do you mean undid? What do you mean undid? <laughs> oh, you know, like there's no point in even going to therapy. Well, I realized okay. that I was that nigga the entire time and I did I. Right. Any questions? All right. Wait, okay, All right. so I guess no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You kind of right because I, I, I know that you're saying this. I, I watched, I watched, I watched like, I watched the stream. You reacted to it until like the last like five, six songs. I, I watched you react to most of it. So what song? Let me, give me, give me three songs that you like. Just I'm, a, I'm just gonna do my review right quick. Okay, you you bad, switched bad, the bad. question for me. All right, so Virginia Beach probably my favorite songs. I like Amen. Um, I did, I don't know if I said it on the podcast, I did come on here and disrespect Tizo last time, but niggas that know me know I was just trolling. I really genuinely didn't hear what the fuck that song sounded like. I just came in here and said it was ass. Uh, I want to give that nigga a chance, because that song Amen was fire. Uh, Calling For You, I didn't really fuck with that much because of the middle part. Without that middle part, I feel like it would have been also another good ass song. Fear of Heights, one of the better songs. Daylight, one of the better songs. Um, anybody that's hating on Adonis being on the track, y'all can just go ahead and shut the fuck up. Mad niggas want to see LeBron play with Bronny. Like, it's just a fucking cool-ass mm. thing to see. Cuck. Like, yo, he's a son rapping with his father. That's amazing. I don't give a fuck if it's a bad verse or not. And the verse went crazy on TikTok. Every single girl I see on TikTok is saying, my man, my man, what the fuck Adonis was saying. Uh, First Person Shooter, obviously, one of the best songs on the album. Probably yes, top one for me. Um, this really just makes me excited for the fall off because J. Cole's been killing every single feature verse he's been on. Um, I don't give a fuck. Amazing. Seven nights. Nice. The first eight songs are untouchable to me, honestly. Yeah. Like the first eight songs is fucking insane. And I'll go even further to say, honestly, the first 11 songs are untouchable to me. I like Slime You Out. I like Bahama Promises. Probably one of... Probably one of my favorite R&B songs released by Drake, honestly. Mama Promises is fucking crazy, so it's Tried Our Best. I think Tried Our Best was even so good that Fantana was like, yeah, that song is actually one of the best Drake songs ever. And that nigga is the ultimate Drake hater. Um, Screw the World is just an interlude, so whatever the fuck. I don't really like Chopped and Screwed music. Drew Picasso is a good-ass song. Memories Only a good-ass song. Party Killed that shit. Will Pluto do a good-ass song. Like, most of these songs were good to me, honestly. Like, none of them was really trash. I didn't fuck with the um, Sexy Red song until SZA came on, honestly. Like, that song was kind of just whatever to me until SZA came on and she killed it. I didn't like the Another Late Night with Lil Yachty. Like, every single song on here, honestly, probably to me is good, at least. Like, no song is terrible. I don't know what niggas heard by calling the album terrible. I have no idea, like... Taco may be able to tell me better than anybody, but I don't really think any song on here is bad, in my opinion. Actually, no, I'll take that back. I didn't like the Gently song at all with Bad Bunny. That song felt extremely rushed. And I can see what niggas were talking about when they said yeah. that song. There was no reason for that song to be on there. It wasn't a Bad Bunny song. It wasn't a Drake song. Props to Drake for speaking Spanish on it, I suppose. But that song could have been completely left off of it. Honestly, if they would have put a Bad Bunny feature on it, I would have rather Bad Bunny sent Drake a beat, like, yo, rap on this. Because Bad Bunny beats are basically fucking undeniably amazing every single time. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I really like the album. I give it a strong maybe 7.5, 8 out of 10. Because um, like I said, all the songs were just good. Like, nothing really is a standout, like, past Drake album. Like, there was no 7 a.m. Bridal Path. There was no Champagne Poetry. Um, there was no... Keep your family close from views. Like, most of these songs were just good. Like, it's, it's a good Drake project. The niggas calling it mid and trash. Just, I, I don't know what the fuck they heard. It was a good project. Um, nothing was bad to me, in my opinion. Except uh, Gently and Rich Baby Daddy. And, of course, the two interludes. But those are interludes. So, whatever the fuck. Did, did y'all like the the Santa song? I don't like that song. I hate That's my my, 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 my least one on the my least favorite. Seven, seven, nine, six, nine? I gotta I go back song. and how does it go? 
I don't know. I, I like them. It just sounds like it's like not mixed. Maybe I'm tripping. Like, but like everyone's looking like they, everyone like that, that's not their favorite song, but they, 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 they you know, they consider it pretty no. cool. Nice. You're right. Not, the mixing is kind of terrible on it, but um, uh, uh, actually, let me um, wait, Paula, were you done? Were you done with the whole review? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, it was a good album to me All right. for sure. So I'm gonna say my my review, and then I'm gonna uh, ask y'all a question. Uh, so. All right. Even though it might sound like I hated this album, like I was ready to hate on on this shit, I am ready to hate on it, but I don't hate the album. And to the people who are saying... So at this point, it's... When we're recording this, it is uh, Wednesday. So this is, what, one, two, so three, like five days? Five, six days? No, it was five days after the album dropped. So I've listened to this album probably like seven or eight times right now by now so i think I, i've taken a lot of thought to it i get like my because i do i'd be doing my twitter reviews on um well i'd be doing my album reviews on twitter and shit and my first reaction like my first like review that i post my first verdict that i posted about the album i rated it a 7.1 now my critique of it well what i said about it was it was too long and you start feeling it about halfway through that, you know, the biggest highlights were like exactly like you guys said. The first eight songs, I think the first eight songs are honestly really great. Well, not really great. I think they're good. I think they're really good. Uh, with the exception of First Person Shooter, of course, is amazing. I don't give a fuck. With Yeet is great. Um, Amen, also a really good track. The only one that like gets fucking ass is Calling For You. I, I kind of hate that song. Just because it is for sure a her loss to Lucy and you know, thrown off like it was a deleted track off of her loss and it's not it's not necessarily Drake's part. It's just like the whole like you know, the whole girl talking and like yeah, you know, the whole five instrumental going on for like, like forty five seconds. Twenty one like, Savages like verse. Minutes. Yeah, now it was like a minute and a half, yeah, a minute and a half, two minutes. Exactly. So if that wasn't in, part of it, this could this could have been easily like a like another interlude type thing. But the Twenty One Savage verse was kind of cheeks. It's nothing too crazy. So I mean, like I said, listening to it, you can tell it was just a throwaway from the from the here uh, her loss album. Um. So yeah, that 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 would be the only exception to the first eight songs. I think Virginia Beach is kind of like it's, Virginia Beach is like okay, like you know, it. I don't think it compares to. Whoa other drake openers in the past um i guess for current drake like you know drake in 2023 i guess you can say that's like really good um just because personally i think that drake's quality of music like his quality of work has declined a lot throughout not a lot but it declined a significant amount throughout the year so if this is what we're just we just have to deal with then i feel like you know it's fine you know, like, like i said the first eight songs if you were to ask me um, to compare it to a previous album, like if I'm comparing this, the quality of it, you know, like how he sings, how he raps on it, to other projects that he's done, it's like bar none. All those other projects are way better. Like views, for it, and this is too late. Even take care. All, all those things are extremely better than this album. If you look, if I'm looking at it through that lens, but I'm looking at this through the 2020, through Drake from 2023, not Drake all of his career, but. So that would be my for my critique, my my thoughts on the first eight songs. So, um, yeah, you know, this the shit's great. After listening to it, all those amount of times that I said, you know, after a few days, my rating changed. It, it did go lower. It was, like I said, it was originally seven point one out of ten, and then a few days later, it was a six point two, and I'm gonna stick with that six point two. Um. The songs really, you know, as I mentioned about effort, as I mentioned about like old Drake and everything like that, I and I said this on Twitter too. I feel like this, like the ver the songs, like his verses are like sixty percent effort for most of the songs, maybe with the exception of like four or five songs. But his verses really just like you know, he could have gone even harder. He could he could have his delivery could have been way better. His like. Flows could have been way better. Not necessarily, actually, not even necessarily flows. I would say it's more. It's more of his his delivery with a lot of the songs. And then, like the, I mean, lyrical content. I don't think anybody listens to Drake for lyrical content per se. But 
Um, that could obvi- obviously be better. And yeah, it, it just doesn't. It just doesn't really compare as like you know what I was looking for. It. it, it um, I don't. The thing is, I'm kind of stumbling on my words because I'm not really sure how to put it all together. But the one thing I will say, the features, the collabs, are all kind of fire. I don't think there's, except for the 21 Savage uh, feature, I don't think there's a feature here that I don't like. The Bad Bunny one, the Bad Bunny feature, Bad Bunny did his thing because it's Bad Bunny. Of course, he's gonna do fire. That song, Drake's part is absolute fucking garbage, um, and. Drake didn't even try with this band. It's like he he just reading out he just reading a script, um, you know, and just like not even flowing with the words in Spanish or nothing like it's 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 straight doo doo. It's garbage. Like his song that he do with Bad Bunny, I think actually today is like the five year six year anniversary or whatever when that song came out. The song called Mia, his and Drake and Bad Bunny's first collab. That song is is a great song, and he he did the hook or whatever in Spanish. And like you know, it was cool. That was fine, but in this, it's just so lazy. It's kind of garbage. The Bad Bunny verse, you know, it does sound phoned in. It does sound rushed. I I think Bad Bunny could have even done a verse on Rich Baby Daddy, like he on that beat. He could have done a little something there. But then I feel like the track would have been a little bloated. But if anything, that's where I could have seen him. Um, but then when it comes to the middle of the album, a lot of that is just filler for me. A lot of that is just kind of, you know, some of the solo songs are all right. Like Bahama Promises is, is all right. Everything else is more or less kind of boring and stale for me. It just really, the quality just isn't there for me personally. Um, yeah. And like the, the sexy red song, scissor song, I actually really like, it's one of my favorites of the album. Um, uh, yeah. So that's why I would say at the end of the day, I would rate it at 6.2. The, the production is amazing. The collabs are great. Um, it's just the quality, and there's way too many songs to the album. The album, so it's 23 songs. It could have been like 16 songs. It could have been 15 songs. Then it would have been a lot much better album. So my question... Is, oh, well, let me see my favorite song. So, you know, Rich Baby Daddy is one of my favorite songs. 8 a.m. in Charlotte is a great song as well. Um, the Yeats song, First Person Shooter, Amen. Uh, I think there's like one more that I really like. Um, I'm not sure. Also, Polar Opposites as an outro is kind of not good. Um, he's he's had way better. He's had way, way better out um outros. And like I said, with Virginia Beach, he's had way better intros in previous albums. So, um, yeah, it, it wasn't that great to me. But yeah, so my rating would be six point two. And my question is. How do you guys rate out? Like, not well. You don't have even have to give a big explanation. I'm just kind of confused because the way you guys were talking about the album, it sounds like you really liked it. And in my head, like the way you were describing it is the way I would describe an album that I would give like an eight point five or a nine, maybe a nine point five. The way that Paula was describing it, but you guys give it like a seven point five. I think I think Jess said or Paul said like to eight or eight point five or whatever. No, uh, not I said six point five. I didn't say that. Yes, yeah, I oh, hate. 6.5. Yeah, so 6.5. So me reading at 6.2 and hearing Jez praise it at a 6.5, I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of curious. What what would be like an 8.5 or like a 9 for you, Jez, in this, in this example? Um, I think I'm just curious. How you, um, just to see where your head is at when it comes to this. 8.5. 8, 8. Probably, probably the um, the uh, the Utopia album. I probably give it an eight. Probably give it a smooth eight. Cause my because when we when we opened up Pod, I, my thing was I was saying like I was joking about this being album of the year, but I was but like even the whole like oh this is, you know this has more traction than Utopia and stuff like that. It's true. Like even if like even if my it, it's not one of Drake's best albums, it still has a lot more traction. It still has a lot more people talking about it. I feel like Utopia because as with the amount of people saying Utopia, they've been begging for Utopia for years, like for actual years. And like Apollo yeah. said, with the controversy with Astro World and things like that, you would think this shit was going to come out and just be like the talk of the town for like there would be nothing to kind of like supersede it. It generally felt like when it came out, it lasted like I'd, I'd let's say we give it a week that people talked about it, and then it was kind of just that was it. I didn't see no sounds trending. I'm not saying that TikTok is is the end all to be all, but TikTok really does 
kind of influence the the music scene right now. I barely saw any, any uh, besides like I said, besides the Drake song, I really didn't see nothing about uh, Utopia on it. I'm, I, I can sit there and say, yeah, Utopia is better than this album. But in terms of like just people talking about it, people, I mean, of course, you know, as like I said, Drake is Drake, but Travis Scott is still Travis Scott. Even Little Uzi is still Little Uzi. Like these are still very, very big names. Even the pink tape, he's been teasing the pink tape for eons. Like the pink tape and that Utopia have been. Garbage. I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't think it was garbage. I thought it was pretty solid. I don't think it's better than Utopia. It wasn't, I think it wasn't even a rap album. That too, as well. I think people went in there expecting a whole different sound. But I'm, I, I'm just saying, like, this is for sure not my favorite. This is probably not even top five Drake, but like, I'm not going to sit there. And uh, to me, like, a, a 6.5 is like, I grabbed some songs off of it. The entire thing wasn't, you know, ass. I wouldn't call it mid, but it's a like, you know, it's a little bit better than mid. To me, mid's like, you know, how how it's supposed to be five out of ten. I, you know, it's at six, six point yeah. five. It's not too bad. And like you said before, that's that's my biggest thing with, with music right now is that I, this is too much fluff. If he really, if he genuinely went from what twenty three songs into like sixteen, yeah. it would have jumped up. Or it probably would have been like nine out of ten, low key, like eight eight point five out of ten. But like not 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 just this album, but a lot of other albums, they're just too much fluff in it. Uh, that's why I did like Utopia. I feel like every song on there is actually pretty solid, and there was really not there was very little fluff. Um, yeah, it, well, it's, it's not really it's not really <laughs> fluff as you're saying. It's just that he's trying to pertain to five different fan bases he has. So that's it. Yeah, yeah, he's not only doing rap like Travis is. He's not only having to make rap songs. He also has to make R and B. He also has to try to make a club banger. He also has to try to make a pop hit. Like, all these are having to go on one single album. So I think where he messed up is um, he did 23 songs, and everybody's only going to like six to seven songs off the album because maybe if you're an R&B fan, you're only like, yo, I like the R&B. I like Bahamas Promises. Um, I like the one that came after that. Or if you're a rap fan, oh, yeah, I love the J. Cole one. I love yeet i love 8 a.m in charlotte or if you're a pop fan yo the sexy red one is fire like you're only gonna like 67 you know just depending on what version of drake that you like but the thing we got to realize is i mean drake hit a billion like he has a billion dollars he's gonna surpass michael in terms of like um most number one albums most number one songs whatever the fuck it is like he's in a part of his life where like I've heard, like, he, he, if he never makes another good song again, bro, I got so much shit to go back to. Like, it really does not fucking matter. Like, now it's just kind of in, like, the, the victory lap. He's kind of, like, just, like, jogging at this point. Like, he doesn't have to do his hardest. He doesn't have to do his best anymore. What else is there left for him to really accomplish, honestly? I mean, it's like how Kendrick, I don't, I can't really judge the nigga because he won a fucking a Pulitzer Prize off an album. And that's never really been heard of or done before. Like, it's, like these rappers that we're watching, like we can't really judge them off their you know current projects because they've already done the best that they really could. Honestly, like I don't really think Kendrick will beat a T. Pab or a Damn anymore. I don't think Drake will beat uh, Nothing Was the Same or Reviews or If You're Reading This Is Too Late because like those are like his most hungry. That was his peak. That was when he was doing everything he could to make the best album in the world. Now he's kind of in the phase where it's just like. I'll just I'm, I'm gonna make playlists. Like I'm gonna make compilation albums for people that still fuck with me. I mean Eminem. I saw this thing on Twitter. That basically, like Eminem said it about three years ago. Like they're gonna fuck with you right now, but in a couple of years they're just gonna start calling everything you call trash. I mean they did the same thing to Eminem. And Eminem is absolutely the goat. Like I don't know how y'all niggas feel about Eminem, but that nigga has like three, not even arguably classic albums. Like Marshall Mathers LP. Um, the Eminem show and Slim Shady LP are arguably, undebatably, like, classics. absolutely. fucking lutely And then now niggas call him ass just because whatever fucking reason. Like, once you're inside the game for so long, niggas will always rotate back to calling you ass for whatever fucking reason. Like, when Kendrick dropped uh, Mr. Morale whatever, niggas immediately called that shit mid, even though we've been waiting for a Kendrick album for the past, like, five six seven years however long it's fucking been it's just like once you become at the top like you're gonna get more people hating you than love you honestly and that's why we see so many people that like after a couple months after a drake album comes out niggas like yo that shit was actually kind of fire because you didn't even fucking listen to it you just saw it was mid and then also proceeded to call it mid i mean that's just how all music goes we're gonna see the same thing happen to j cole 
Actually, we already did see the same thing happen to that nigga. They've been calling that nigga mid for the past, like, 10 fucking years. That's just how it always goes. Same thing will happen to Yeet. Same thing will happen to all these new artists. If they're inside the game for longer than 10 years, they're going to start going to mid for no fucking reason. That's how it is. That's true. I mean, even with, uh, even with like, someone like Yachty, because, like, people are already switching on Yachty. Because, like, I feel like up until this, like, this album came out, it was, you know, oh, yeah, Yachty, this is his year, MVP of the year. He dropped, you know, that very, like, you know, it wasn't, it might, it might not be everyone's album of the year, but it was a very, like, you know, experimental, kind of trying a new sound for him. I mean, crazy singles, crazy features. He seems like he's, like, on everyone's tracks with the with J.I.D., with the, with the thing they dropped, with the little two-pack they did drop, everything. He was in the a- fucking A.M.P. cypher, he dropped the song off of that. And then, like, up until this week, I think, so, I don't know what happened. I think he, like, dissed little Uzi or something like that. I guess him and Uzi have been having beef for a minute now. He dissed Uzi in some freestyle or something like that. And now, all of a sudden, oh, oh he, he like, who, who does he think he is? He's, he's his Uzi's son. He's his Drake's uh, groupie. He has, no, he has nothing to his name. He, he's, been, he's been falling off for the, like, all, all of a sudden. All of a sudden, but every like a week ago, everyone was like, "Oh yeah, we love, we love little yeah, we love you." Yeah, because he dropped so, that so song with tired. J Cole. They were like, "Yo, he's the goat, he's the goat." And then a week later, he's not the goat, and he's falling off. Like y'all niggas are just stupid. Like, that's why if you make any form of content, like just just expect niggas to call your shit ass. Like if you go into it expecting niggas to call it ass, then there is no fucking getting mad at niggas saying that shit because it's gonna happen. Like even if you make the best form of content. Literally in the entire world, niggas will still be like, nah, shit, mid. For whatever reason, it's because they, they're not going to create anything like that ever. And it don't take three seconds to just call something mid, even if you never heard it, watched it, seen it. Like, I guarantee, like, maybe 40% of the niggas calling that shit mid on Twitter didn't even listen to the album. They just listened to probably... I did. Yeah, but you didn't call it mid, though. You called it a 6 out of 10. It's probably, it's probably more than it is. It's probably like... I like seven oh, percent of niggas who have not watched that, listen to that shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about Drake right now, but I'm talking about like any form of oh. art. Right now, I said like it, I guarantee they didn't even hear the album though. But like it's anything oh, I like the audio album. Oh no, I have no idea. I, I didn't hear that shit. But I, I mean, I saw it. more niggas calling it good than mid, honestly. But that was because we haven't heard a Yachty album in a very long time, and now niggas are calling that nigga mid. Like it's only been like what, like five months since that album. Yeah, he hasn't even dropped anything. But that J Cole single and helped produce Drake's album, and he's mid all of a sudden. Like what? He didn't even do anything. <laughs> like what? What did he do since the album until now to make that nigga fall off? I think people are overlooking the fact that Lil Yachty is just trash. I mean, I personally don't like him, but I don't think he's trash. Uh, I listen. I. <laughs> It's like a side, little side tension, but now nah, I used to be look. I used to be a legit Yachty fan. Like me and all my friends from high school used to be straight up Yachty fans. As soon as we discovered the little Bo mixtape in 2016, when I graduated high school, I remember specifically we listened. We were like all oh, smoking and we all listening to that shit for the first time. Little Bo was like one of the best projects I've ever heard at that point. Um, right now, it's like I mean, it's still pretty good going back to it, but. Lil Yachty was on fire back in the day. Like, this this resurgence of Yachty right now that's going on, you know, it reminds me of back when he was still blooming. It was, like, first coming out and popping and everything like that. Because you got Lil Bo, 2016, same year he dropped the mixtape, Summer Songs 2, what had, like, which had, like, his whole, um, what do you call it? Like, his whole posse. I, I forget what that shit is called. Like, his, like, collective that he was a part of or whatever. Um, the rap pack. Yeah, that, rap that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... That was a good. That was a good compilation. Um, that was like you know pretty good. That, that was in my rotation for like a, a few years at least. He dropped Teenage Emotions in 2017. Honestly, I, I think it's a good album. A lot of people shit on it, um, especially because the the singles, half of them were kind of garbage. Um, but the, the, my favorite Yachty song ever is one of the Yachty songs that people think is the worst of all time, which is Bring It Back. I, I think that's my favorite Yachty song, but. And then after that, you got Lil Bo too. And then from there, his quality just dropped immensely. Like after 2018, that first album, he dropped another album. 2018, he dropped Lil Bo 3.5 or three. I mean three or whatever. And so with everybody, you know, with this new album that he came out, let's start here. It's alternative and you know, Tame Impala type beat. But the thing is, the people who are like think it's goaded, and I, I've had this conversation before here on the pod too about the album, but. People who think it's goaded just have never listened to anything outside of hip hop before, 
a rap. That's it's that, that's all that is because that sound that he goes for, it obviously it already exists. And if you actually listen to artists who have that sound, you'll be like, oh wow, yeah, this shit is garbage uh, in comparison. And also, you know, I guess I'm I'm kind of being unfair by saying by not saying um I just don't like his voice anymore. His voice used to be cool, like he had like an auto tune effect to it as well, like so it's kind of like very different. But now it's just um. I just don't like his voice. And I think, you know, me personally, voices are a very big part and enjoyability for music, um, especially when it comes to hip hop, because you can be, you, you can have, you can have a fire ass, you know, you can have a whack ass like verse. You could be whack ass bars, corny bars. But if you got like the rapping voice for it, I'm, I'm all for it. But then on the other hand, if you have, you know, uh, fire lyrics, but, your voice is like I, I don't like your voice. I just will not like listen to you. Like West Side Gun. Like West Side Gun is a great lyricist. He, he has his production is insane. The bars are insane. I just don't like his voice, so I don't listen to his music like that. I just I just can't. It's uh it's it's like it's like scratching a chalkboard for me. Um but yeah. That's how I feel about Danny Brown. Yeah, I can understand him. I can understand that. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you should listen. You should listen to some of the. I mean, he has he has like an whole album, but he has some songs where it's just his normal rapping voice, and like it's not like any of that extra shit. Yeah, um, he, he can spit absolutely. Yeah. He's a very phenomenal rapper. I just I just can't get past his voice, unfortunately. Nah, I, I get that. Yeah, but he's a very good rapper. But yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it was a good album. Honestly, like I, I've really the only gripe is that like he's just not hungry anymore. Which I mean, he's not gonna ever be like. There's no, there's no way we can ever get a version of Drake that's as hungry as he was back in the day, man. Because he's done everything. Like I just yeah. like I like hearing the hunger in people's raps. Like I like hearing them want that shit. Somehow J Cole still manages to do it. I don't know. I was I don't say that nigga still hungry. Yeah, uh, not that. even just not even just J Cole, but like I feel like that argument is kind of like. I mean, I I get what you're saying. I kind of do agree, but the thing is, like, you have people like. Jay Z, like who dropped four, 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 bro, was damn near fifty when he dropped that shit, and like he sounded like hungry as ever on that album, like the Nas album that just dropped this well, year. Well, okay, so I it's think really good. I think they are still trying to prove something. Jay Z is still trying to prove that he may be getting older, but he's still as good as he used to be. J Cole's still trying to prove that he's not number three out of Kendrick and Drake and Cole. Nas is still trying to prove that he's not fucking worse than Jay Z anymore. Like that was just an argument back in the day. Like I think all these rappers still have something that they're trying to prove to themselves personally. And Drake is kind of just like, dog. I mean, I don't. He just he basically keeps getting ego struck by Billboard and the Source and all that shit. To where like he just feels like he doesn't have anything else to accomplish. I mean, like once yeah, he gets that last hit which he will probably with either this yeet verse or the cole verse i mean that's that's it he'll have beaten be- michael jackson like that is insane even though it's easier for him to beat it because like streams and stuff like that but that's still like a bro is dead yeah it's still a notch on your belt that <laughs> like nobody else will probably ever get for a while but also because um, i think because drake drops like every year like m- sometimes multiple projects as well like uh, all these other people really be dro- like kind of like kendrick too they just drop like you know once every two three years like drake is like consistently dropping and like yeah you know maybe that takes a dip on the quality but he's like you know he's still doing it like as if like he's on the come up in that in that sense so i feel like maybe the hunger is kind of like the hunger is in the consistency yeah, it's kind of just like maybe just change sides a little bit. He did say he's gonna take a break. I mean, he probably will still drop singles here and there and do features, but maybe like if he takes a break for like the next couple of years, comes back, we might get like a like a definitive classic again, something like that. God knows, but I mean, nah, you're right because that now that shit kind of pisses me off about Kendrick specifically, and I feel like you know obviously if Kendrick dropped more often, then you know people people would like you know try to see. When when it comes to the debate of like the go to three or whatever, like the top three, like J. Cole, Kendrick, you know, Drake or whatever. Yeah, uh, I mean that's I his that's his uh slur in his armor, is that he's not as consistent as those two. Like if Kendrick was as consistent as Cole well, and Drake, it'd be like a Drake. Huh? 
I said, slurring his armor is crazy. You ain't, I know catching, me I know you ain't catching me up. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. But if he was as consistent as those two, it'd be like an undeniable, like, of course, yeah, that nigga's the GOAT. But, like, Cole is dropping a top 10 feature verse every single fucking time he opens his mouth, it seems like. Like, it's just, it's just like, it's just undeniable to say that Cole has not, like, progressively gotten better over the years. Like, he hasn't gotten worse at all. It's like the whole, like, Tyler thing. Like, Tyler's album gets better every single time he drops. Well, with Cole, it's like every verse he does is, like, either equal to or better than the last verse he just did. So it's just, like, it's weird, honestly. Like, Kendrick, of course, is, I feel like, the best rapper when it comes to, like, uh, staying on topic and uh, creating some sort of, like, structure to the album and stuff like that. But I just think that Cole is, like, the best rapper out of the three. I don't know. He's just, like... I like his metaphors the best out of the three. I like his flows, his pockets. Like, I just like Cole the best. And I saw a lot of niggas saying that uh, they were mad that Drake got so eat the fuck up in that Cole song. And, like, the only thing I have to say to that is I'm, I'm pretty sure that he, they're working on a song right now for J. Cole's album where he's going to probably go back and forth with that nigga, I feel like. Like, that, I feel like the Drake song was kind of just like a... That song is going to go crazy during a performance. Like, and even Drake is like, who the goat? Who the goat? I can just imagine them performing that song. Like, I'm pretty sure that's all Drake wanted to do is, like, have a good song to perform. But I feel like on this Cole album, Drake is going to fucking go insane for whatever reason. I don't know. Yeah. Um, the thing is... Hold on, my fault. Nah, I, I get kind of pissed about the whole Kendrick thing because... I feel like we, people were... There was a big cloud of, like, you know, uncertainty when it comes to, like, you know, this whole argument of, oh, Kendrick doesn't really drop, you know, um, so often as, like, Drake and, and, and Cole, which is true. Uh, but the thing is, I thought about it, I was like, there was a time where he dropped every single year. Um, not an album, but, like, you know, project or music-related shit. Like, 2012, he dropped Good Kid, Matt City. 20... Um, then it was like three years of left nothing there, and so to be a butterfly in 2015. Then 2016 you had the Untitled Unmastered. Mastered. In 2017 you had Damn. 2018 you had the Black Panther album, and so yeah, so it was like um, four years, five years. So 2018 to 2022. So yeah, four years without any Kendrick shit. Like, it was only it was a long ass time, and from there, what, what did we get? We got like two. It was like two Cole albums, like four Drake albums, or some some shit like that. So yeah, I feel like if he were to drop more, I mean, that being said, obviously as someone who's like a Kendrick stand and some shit like that, I, I I think you know he should take his time when it comes to making albums. Obviously, I would love for him to drop like every other year, or every single year. You know, that'd be great. Like like Tyler, basically, like every two years, that beat. You know, and Tyler, Tyler could Tyler could do his thing. Tyler does his thing. You know, his every two every two year shit, like it worked out in his favor. Like Flower Boy is is like a nine out of ten. Igor honestly is a ten out of ten for me. Um, yeah. If uh, calling it to get lost is like a it's like an eight point five to me. It's like he has that qual that quality is there. He is he's, he Tyler hasn't dropped anything less than eight point five in like such a long time. What about like a state sale? Some shit. What happened? What about a state sale? Um, I mean, I don't really count that as an album, but e even a state sale, like the songs, you know, I still give it like an 8 out of 10, like 8.5 8 out of 10, um, because the quality is there, like you, you hear, it. it's not like any rush shit, like not to compare these two artists, because they're very different, but like Tyler and Drake, for example, like the stuff on the estate sale, you can tell the quality because, you know, not just because Tyler produces his own, his own beats and everything like that, but you could just tell the quality that went into each song of the estate sale. And if you try to compare it to the quality of a Drake song off of Fat D, um, you know, it's just not not to compare the two, but when it comes to like the quality, like one artist's quality and control over a song as opposed to their previous work. So, you know, uh, like, I, I still, like I said, for what it is, I do think this the Fat D is better, is better than mid. Because I agree with, with, uh, with Jez. I think mid is more like five to like six range for an album so anything above like a six for me is like you know right outside of mid but 
Yeah, it's not it's not a terrible album. Everyone who's calling it, calling it terrible, I think they're, they're just you know they're, they're lying to themselves. Even if, even if listen, even if you despise and hate Drake like I do, but even more like in for real, like for real, dude. The <laughs> album like if you take out Drake, the album is still like I mean even even with Drake there, it, the album is still really good when it comes to production. When it comes to the guest features, like the features kill it in every single, like yeah, the no, features no. outshine them on every single song. The that's, features that's by great. itself makes that album not mid, like literally. Yeah, and the production as well. The production, like the production, is literally half, half of the album. Like half of an album is the production. You have the lyrics, you know, the, the vocals, and the production. Half of the album is the production. The production it was low key like some of the best this year. I would say it's definitely like top three album when it comes to production of this year and he got like more um, into his new school bag like it wasn't like the drake beats that you would expect to be like i would expect things like yeah. champagne poetry like any of the time stamp things but like he got more into like his cardi bag with like the beat selection honestly and i usually don't really fuck with beats like that but like he like to me like it just it sounded all right to me like honestly i, I think that's the only reason i kind of like don't fuck with some of the songs as much as i would because like the i really don't like cardi type beats honestly like the crazy mad drum patterns and shit like that but let me it, it sounded good honestly yeah yeah it doesn't really like i really don't really have that many complaints about it no i went into it expecting i don't know like i guess for all the dogs i heard somebody explain it like this whenever you like hear the title for all the dogs you expect it to be like nothing but just like shitting on women just going crazy and just mad like toxic verses and stuff like i mean you hear like for all the dogs like the dog niggas basically not shitting on women but just like just toxic toxic whatever the fuck toxicity throughout his verses and shit yeah. but somebody apparently drake told somebody for all, the, for all the dogs he meant dogs and like female dogs so he meant to like for the women and that's why there's so many what? r&b songs on it that's crazy <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So when he said for all the dogs, he meant like Charlotte. For all the bitches, women. That's not for the women. Eight AM Charlotte is not for the women. That's for the. There's a timestamp on every album. But yeah, but anomaly. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. I did hear. Um, I I don't. I didn't keep me to just to say from Sean C. But he like when he was reacting to the the album, he did say because Snoop Dogg like did a little outro, and that was like when when he said that like that should that that actually kind of clicked. He should have Snoop Dogg like you know that Snoop Dogg to kind of narrate the album, kind of like how um Morgan Freeman did that that one album. Jim Carrey did a um the Weekends album, his last album. Like I've been probably I've been kind of cool to have Snoop. I don't know. I don't know if him and Snoop are cool like that or not. But he was on the album, so I think they probably have some some kind of decent ties. I've been kind of cool if Snoop Dogg kind of narrated the album a little bit. I don't know. I've been kind of interesting. Yeah, I mean Drake. Drake. I think what I'm expecting out of Drake is just not going to happen. Like I'm just expect. I'm expecting like a 444 conceptual album about him getting older and what he's having to deal with now and his like life and stuff like that. I mean, it's just not going to happen. I mean, it's just. Like, Drake is just going to make playlist music, and it's going to be really good music that some people are going to fuck with, some people aren't going to fuck with, and that's just how it's always going to be, I feel like. Like, I don't think Drake will ever make a conceptual, like, for your eyes only, but that's not why I listen to Drake. I listen to Drake to hear good lyrics over good beats and, you know, some party music or some shit like that. I mean, niggas listen to J. Cole for the conceptual shit. Niggas listen to Kendrick for the conceptual shit. Like, I feel like if we're going to have three goats inside the top three, they should all be goaded for different reasons. And Drake is just, like, the pop nigga. I mean, I do think, like like I said before, with this break he's about to take, like, at least, like, from making, like, studio albums, probably taking, you know, take care of Adonis, you know, just chill out a little bit, because that kind of shit. It'd be kind of cool if he, like, starts growing the label a little bit more, too. But I feel like he could probably come back with something crazy, like just like one final album, like on some like the Fallout type shit, and like maybe make it like a concise, like twelve to like fourteen songs, and it's straight. Like he has, you know, of course has his time stamp with the with the time song, probably fire opener, fire outro. I'm not expecting something like you know it has to be like a masterpiece, but it might be like his best work that we've received from a long time. Probably not expected anytime soon. Maybe like at the earliest 2025, 2026. In a couple of years, but I feel like he still has it in him to do something like that. Like maybe not, you know. I might say it's gonna be the next T pad, but you know, no, nah, I mean, it's yeah. just yeah. one of those things where like 
I think he's 37 right now, so he's taking a break, and it takes a long time to make an album. So if he's like genuinely not writing during this break, mm-hmm. we're probably not gonna get an album until he's like 40 something. So, I man, it's just like a, it's just one of those things. Like I'm not really expecting whatever his next project to be. I'm not expecting it to be that amazing because he's gonna be 40 at that point. Like I mean, like rappers once they start getting older, it's kind of just like they want to chill a little bit. I mean, Jay Z. We'll write a crazy ass verse every now and then, but nobody's expecting an album from that nigga. Like Nas is the only old head nigga that's just like constantly going. I don't know what the fuck wrong with that nigga. He dropping like two albums a year <laughs> that are like debatably album of the year every single fucking time. So I don't know. Nas yeah, the only nah, nigga really. Nah, Nas, Nas is still killing it for sure. Like. I think it's the King's Disease album from like, you know, I think there was like two of them or whatever. I wasn't the biggest fan of I thought it was I thought it was fine, you know, it's like a good good rap, you know, all that type of stuff. But this album he dropped, I think it was like Magic Two or Magic Three or some shit this year. It's it, it, it was pretty good. Honestly, I would give it like I think I gave it like an eight, uh eight point like two or something out of ten. It, it was a really good album. Now I still got that shit. You know, I, I this is this is exactly why Nas will always be superior to Jay Z in my opinion, and uh, it's just a personal preference. Wait, was that all this year? These verses? What? Uh, oh, yeah. Nah, that's not all of them. Some Uh-oh. of them are. Some of them are. Are like from like a couple. First of years person ago. shooters this year. Secret recipes this year. All my life this year. Was Johnny Peace Caddy this year? I don't think so. Yeah, it was. It what was. The fuck? It's, yeah. It's been a long ass. This doesn't. I feel like it came out last year. Maybe it is no, all this year. Uh, no, because yeah, Off Days is, is definitely not this year. Or Bob Lobo. No, yeah, no, no, these, no. These, yeah, this feature list is fucking insane. And like, I, I can probably name every single one that he out rapped the rapper on this shit. Uh, we're oh, we're talking. Uh, Jazz sent this thing to the group chat. Um, of all J Cole's features that he's done in the past couple of years. Um, he did first person shooter. He definitely outright dra- he outright dragged on that shit. Um, Secret recipe outrapped Yachty on that. He of course outrapped Lil Durk. Um, arguably outrapped Benny on Johnny P's Caddy. I like J Cole's verse better. But I know some people that like Benny's verse. That came a out last better. year actually. I checked. It came out uh, January twenty twenty two. I was about to say yeah. that's a, that'd be a crazy time skip. I, I know they dropped another album. Um, I thought it was uh, the other song. I think they they dropped a song this year. It might have been with. Another member of Griselda. I don't remember. But he did also drop a song this year. He outrapped Thug on the London. He outrapped 21 on on uh, a lot. Yeah, he he, out, he killed a lot of these niggas, honestly. Like, this nigga, he is probably undebatedly. What is y'all's, like, non-objective top three in rap right now? Like, right now? All right, I guess not right now. Just your non-objective top three. Uh, um... Cause I probably um, honestly got honestly Drake at Drake at number two, J Cole at number one, and I think I got Tyler at number three for me. Tyler's for sure in there for me. Y'all know how I love Tyler. He probably number one for me. Nigga can do no wrong. Like even when he, even when he's like his clothing brand, his clothing line. Even when he makes fucking this random ass jingles for Coca Cola, like everything he touches would be gold. I don't know. So he probably number one for me. J Cole for sure got to be at least on the list. He probably number two. Drake probably three, honestly. I put I probably put Tyler at the top. I know a lot of people probably don't want to hear that, but like if we're talking about like right now, no, I mean it's he's Tyler in is the argument. Crazy. He's he's Tyler definitely in the crazy. argument now. If you would have said that like five years ago, niggas would have got mad, but now it's kind of just like yeah, he is proving himself. Like if this next album he, is as good as the last four, he's undebatably in top three to me, honestly. Because like how many how many rappers have like four classic albums. It's Tyler, Tyler's fucking and crazy. Some niggas call Wolf a classic, so honestly, like, that's, that'd be five undebatable classics. My favorite song is off of Wolf. Like, I don't like, I don't, I don't consider it a classic, but Answer, that's, I think it's off that album. That's like my favorite yeah, song by is. him. That's or like top top two, top three. I, I, just, I just feel that personally. Yeah, I'd probably go Tyler, Cole, and Drake. Like, the thing with Drake is like, like for like the, like in, even in three months, niggas are gonna come back to the album and do the same. Oh, it was actually really really good. Like they always do the same. Like it's just this is how Drake is. I don't know. 
I mean, I guess you guess you can kind of say that for any album. Like we were talking about, because people just call it mid just to like, just get clicks and comments, and then when they actually listen to it, go, oh, well, it was actually pretty good. But like for Drake specifically, like genuinely, like when it first drops out, like people are like, oh, see, this is why he's ass. This is why Cole and Kendrick are better. And then like in three months, like people are just like it'd be like new record, like it'd be like the hidden records on the album that'd be popping up on TikTok, that'd be popping up in this in other people's playlists. Like, oh yeah, this actually was really really good. And it was probably the more like lesser known song. I think Tyler Loki might be the only rapper immune to people calling him mid because he started off as a content creator first. Like he was able to like kind of curate a fan base of niggas that really, really, really honestly fuck with him and not just like his music. I mean, niggas call Drake mid because they don't they just think he's a goofy person. Like they hear him saying stuff like embarrassing or whatever the fuck he be doing, it's just a whole bunch of meme worthy shit. Drake is so funny, dog. That's exactly. what I'm talking about. Yeah, though. but like you niggas think he's actor. goofy, so anything he does is just gonna be perceived as goofy. Embarrassing. Uh, right. I would say that's, that's true though, because Joji or you know whatever filthy yeah. Frankie was like it's the same shit for him. That nigga can do no wrong. He'd be I've seen him at concerts. He'd be like on there just doing like random shit on the stage. Niggas would just be loving it. So I don't know. It's the same thing for him. Too, I, I think the only nigga I didn't work for was Dream. That nigga, absolutely not. Know. Wait, Taco, who is your top three? Uh, I guess right now, um, Kendrick, of course, JID and Cole. JID is okay. real close too. Right, I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. I want five. I want to throw that nigga in there, little kid. Niggas JID's don't so talk about fire. how Forever Store was probably top album of the year. Was that last JID, year? JD has yeah it was I think it was yeah, last year. JD has never dropped JD has never dropped a bad project. Not a bad album at all. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that's definitely all. true. Like the hidden trifecta, like him, um, Smino and Denzel Curry. I don't think they've ever dropped a bad album, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I would say Den- Denzel is also uh, honorable mention at least for me. Denzel Curry is fire. I'd, I'd replace Smino with Saba. Saba's fire too. Saba's fire too. You don't have any bad albums in me. Saba's fire too. But Smino's is like Care for me is like one of my favorite albums of all time. Honestly. That is uh, that is top five for me too. Uh, like Saba, was, Saba, you got you got good. Uh, what do you call that shit? Um, good. Uh, stage presence. That's what I meant to say. Because I I uh, seen him. He, he performed at a at my college one time. It was cool. This dream. This dream. No. No. I, I, I had a dream <laughs> like. About Dream? Dream is so corny. Like, I don't know. His whole being is so corny. Because how did he go from, like, being a Minecraft, like, superstar? Like, really bringing the whole... I'm not... I actually, like, I mean, Minecraft is popular. But, like, he really, like, you know, was always on the trending page. Every time I got on that fucking app, he was doing his thing. And then he showed his face. And, like, I don't know. His, like, his career started. Like, I don't know. <laughs> he I'm started doing music, bro. He started opening his fucking... Nah, I, I didn't even know that came, that came after he showed his face. I don't know he even made music. I thought he was... I don't know what happened. So has he not made a Minecraft video in forever? He's just been no, making music? No, that's he showed his face. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? His I numbers, like his numbers dipped. Like, that shit went crazy. Like, everybody unsubscribed. No way. Like, that was, like, the only face reveal in history where niggas just like, nah, fuck yeah. this. Yeah. Like, I mean, they tried to cancel him because he was no, ugly. Uh, the last <laughs> Minecraft video he had is fucking six months ago. Really? Bro, he was the Minecraft, like, it, the thing is, it's so weird now, because I can't even see him playing Minecraft. It's like, that was the guy playing all those, doing all those Minecraft tricks and shit, and That's being known saying. as, like, the like, Minecraft I'm, I'm guy. I'm like, mad watching the video now, because I know what he yeah. looks like. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be disliking it a little bit, because I just, like, I don't understand yeah, anymore. showing his face at all. That was probably the worst decision you could have ever done. And then, and then he put it, and then he put, like, he put the mask back on, and then people were suddenly seeing him in public, and thought that shit was even more corny, because it's like, dude, we already know what you look like. And then... And I think he took it off at the stream. He's like, like like another big reveal, and then niggas thought oh he was even look, he looked he looked uglier. I was like, what? Um, this is that nigga went and lost weight <laughs> for no reason. Like, bro, we don't care if you're fat, bro. You just not you're not attractive. Jesus I've seen Christ. plenty of sexy fat niggas. That nigga went and lost That's like two hundred. Yes, taco one of them. Taco one of them. Ah. Whoa. No way you call me fat. <laughs> you <laughs> said you agree with it. I cause it, cause it's me, bro. <laughs> What? So, <laughs> no, nah, this is the same. This is the same black Asian talk because that's it. it go. It kind of goes for this all thing. So like, if you if someone said, never mind. Let's not get into. Let's not get into. Dude, black Asian. What is nothing, going nothing, on? Nothing, dog? nothing, nothing, what nothing, 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 nothing. We can't get. Wait, no. Explain what you mean. 
No, because he's talking oh. about when I said that you can't. I said if like an Asian person makes a black joke, it's cool. But if a black person makes an Asian joke, then it's like every all hell breaks loose, basically. And it's true too, because I've been like ever since we said that, I've been seeing it more and more and more. Because I've been seeing some crazy Asian shit people be making black, black people. people. I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying like, is there an example specifically? Like we no, it's just, like no, not, they're saying not, like if I like, just go into a stream chat and them niggas are going crazy with the black jokes. But if I were to respond and be like, yeah, I mean, fuck that, and then say some crazy. Asian stereotype, and they'd be like, "Yo, uh, what the no way?" You I, said I knew that. exactly what you were gonna say. I knew exactly what you were gonna say. I, you know, it came to my mind. I wasn't I mean, gonna say huh? anything. I don't know what you <laughs> even what even you like <laughs> even something like basic, even like that entire like that whole Lego. Thing. Like, oh, you you like just you like just like, this exact Lego piece. I've only seen it done to black people. I only saw one other race, and it was a it was a Hispanic guy. Yeah, it was a Hispanic that was guy, it. Yeah. Oh, else nah, was black. I've seen dog. I've seen every single. I seen like you know. I think there was like. They did that for like the black streamer, and then there was a Hispanic streamer. Like, oh, you look like Lego piece something, something. And it was like a like a street vendor Lego or something. Yeah, yeah. I saw that one. I, like, I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> they were going crazy. That's the only one I saw, but it was mainly like, black. He, he was like, he was like responding back to him. Was like, now nah, you look like this, and like he sent back like a, like, I don't know, I can't even say it. Oh whoa! And they're like, ah, he does, he does. And like, what the? F- no the way. Damn way. What were you about to say thing. about fat? No, I was just gonna say cause it's kind of like this because like I don't know. I, I want to get into it a little bit. I'm not like, I'm what are you about, about to say? That. It's not even about that. I feel like it's, it's kind of like the nah, same thing when it comes to like the when it comes to the weight thing because you can't you can't really. I mean, people, people you try to make fat jokes, but like you, you know, you saw what happened to Lizzo oh, type shit. You saw I what lost, happened to Lizzo. Oh, I lost six pounds in like three days, dog. Hell yeah! Are you depressed? Was my job. Whoa. No, my job. Oh yeah, you did get that new job. Hell yeah! So just go get your yes, heart broken. You, you'll drop weight, dog. When I got my heart broken, like twenty fifteen, I lost like twenty pounds in a week. It really be yes, like sir. that for real. That should be going crazy. And I gained fucking thirty five back. Damn. <laughs> God damn. I'm, at, I'm in my gym mark right now. Though. That shit feels amazing. I just love being consistent with stuff. Yeah, feels amazing. Lovely. I'll be running every single day. That shit is amazing. Mad yeah, cardio, I'll be mad. Every single day. It's just fire. That shit, what? Not, that, that shit don't count. That shit do not. You should be jogging what? every single day. No. How does that not count? He said, "What did he say?" He said, "Jogging." Oh, okay. I think he said jerking. No, I swear, I heard jerking. I swear, I heard jerking the first time. I did. I did. I did. See, yeah. I know I'm not crazy. I knew I wasn't crazy. Nah, bro. I, but nah, they got me. I'll be working for. Uh, I don't know if I should, nah, I'm not gonna say it, but I've been working mm-hmm. for a, a, a warehouse at a warehouse at a warehouse. Um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh, like moving like moving packages and all that type of shit, bro. It's it's heavy work. Like the first day killed me. Like second day killed me even worse because I was unloading like you know the you know them big ass tractor trailers and shit that got yeah, like and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically yeah, you basically bro. like bulking. Basically, yeah. yeah. Basically. Nah, and I checked like I think it was on Tuesday. Nah, it was like Tuesday. It was yesterday. I checked and I, like I I lost like five pounds in Sunday because Sunday I weighed myself. I weighed myself every week, once every week. Um, so Sunday I like I saw my weight. I was like, damn, I gained a little bit of weight on Sunday, like since like the week before. But then uh, the yesterday I checked. I was like, you know, I'm kind of curious. I lost fucking like five pounds already. I was like, god damn, like nah, this this work shit. My this this might be fire. This work shit might be fire. <laughs> this, Having this a job? New, this new job shit. This, this new job shit. How do you like nah, the switch I from see. doing online to being in person? It's fire, bro. Because I don't even... I mean, listen. I don't even be talking to the people there like that. I mean, where I just say what's up and, you know, it's yeah, like, you I kind of made, people. like, two acquaintances that are also, like, new people. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a match. Chill. I think it's, like, it's, like, 20, like, maybe, like, 20-ish people max in the entire like including like my manager and shit it's mad chill they be playing like you know music and in, in, in the speaker and it's not like the clean version uh or anything it's like explicit versions and shit and now nah, the other day though it, it was kind of sus because every day they like they have like a new playlist or some playlist or something that somebody plays i don't know who controls the music but it's they play they play uh they play a new playlist so like on tuesday no yesterday they were playing like this playlist and they had that damn Ariana Grande 34 plus 35 song. They had, um, um, fuck, what's that song? Um, 
that song from like Vine or some shit, like I'm going ride song. They had the damn um, Pony by Genuine. So someone put some freaky ass playlist yesterday, but yeah, not man, today. It was horny as shit. What the today. fuck was he doing? <laughs> today, not today, bro. I like the last hour of my shift. I guess the person who who controlled the music shit left, and so it was quiet for like twenty minutes. But then someone put connected their shit to the speaker. They were playing fucking Fat D from the beginning out of the track, the first track. No. So like, <laughs> by the time I got out of work, it was on fucking like eight a.m. in damn Charlotte. And I was like, yo, they really playing the whole song. So I, I listened <laughs> to this album again today, basically. It's a good album. <clears throat> nah, bro. When I heard especially that fucking, when you I just got it as like background music, like that shit yeah. probably has some chill. Nah, shit. nah. I, I will yeah. admit, nah. When when the eats on, I when I don't give a fuck who's playing. Yeah, I was shit. moving like a, I had big ass packages in my car. She was like, like at least like four hundred pounds in my move, and I was like, yo, I, I was, I felt pumped when I listened to that fucking Hell eat yeah. song. You know and what the uh, funny yeah. thing is, like, niggas think they making fun of Drake by like doing that sound and show on TikTok, but you're just helping him. <laughs> like any nigga that thinks like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna get him with this one. I'm gonna call him like sassy and then make fun of him and then do this little pose when he says Mike's that fun. shit. Yeah, bro, but you're literally just like making niggas go look that song up and get his number one. That shit, like, as soon as that trend blew up, it shot past fucking uh, that's what I'm Jay saying. Cole's song. That's why I'm so annoyed by it a little because people were hating on They hated, they actually generally did not like it. It's like, oh, he Jake ruined the song. Then they then they hit TikTok, like, oh, it's like actually a good meme. And now it's gonna fucking... be, I want people like, get that number one, dog. Like, he'd be oh like, God. he be like, just being like catchy for no reason. Like, now niggas only say that part in the song. Exactly, I just do it for fun. Like I'm saying, niggas are doing that shit in like fucking in Twitch chats now. It's like, it's like, and they put like those that's dumbass fucking glasses emoji. Like, what the? Fuck? We can't have nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I need Jayco to get that number one, dog. I need it. I'll Actually, he might get it off. This, of, it's gonna be on this. Yeah, the fall album. off. Yeah, if it's on the fall off. This Drake I'm going to the. I going to the Utopia tour. No. Hell no. Nah. The fuck? I think it's eight dollars. I love my yeah, life. Yeah, cool. it's funny too because I think I think oh that's crazy. I think they they bought um, I think like resellers bought like man you know they the reseller they bought mass amounts of it and now they, now they have they're just they're just earning negative you know not what's what's the word for ne- negative profit deficit whatever the fuck that word is during the during this is this mad and this poverty now because they bought those goddamn. Tickets. You said eight dollars. Yeah, nowadays. $8. But when it first started, it was like in the, you know the hundreds to two hundreds type shit. But it started for eight. Now, no, nah, yeah. it's, it's, it's the it's the resale because resellers bought thousands of tickets, and then there's not really uh demand uh, as much demand for the tickets, so the prices are gonna go anywhere <laughs> from like eight, eight bucks, eight bucks to like going. I think. I the thing is, the eight bucks shit, it's in places like Virginia, like North Carolina, like places where you know it's not really big cities, but even in the big cities, like I check for New York City, like MSG. Fifty dollar tickets. Wow. In Brooklyn, it was like sixty five dollar tickets, seventy dollar tickets. Eight, even like eighty dollars. Even eighty dollars is a good ass price for Travis Scott. Like, yeah, granted, especially when Drake it's, tickets it's, are going for seven hundred. Yeah, granted, with the with the eighty dollar tickets, bleeds. it's nosebleeds. But even with the nosebleeds, like in any other scenario, when it gets closer to the date, when it shit sold out, them tickets gonna go for like four hundred dollars in the nosebleeds. That's crazy. Honestly, no. Nah, if, if I had selling the, out, nah. I think he yeah. sold out some places, but not not all the places. But nah, if it was, if I had dispensable cash on me like that, bro, I I, I would go see Travis. I, I would. I only saw him once, and uh, it was a good show. But um, I would definitely see it for for, the, for this album. Utopia is still like probably on my top five albums of the year. Uh, it's, it's definitely really good. It's really good, yeah. I mean, I, I will admit I haven't gone back to it that often at all, but. Um, it's still a great album. What if he like tweets out like, "Yo, doing the Astro World Part Two tour, buy right here." Oh no, no, absolutely. Well, for, I mean, how, how much? I mean, how, how much are we talking? How, like twenty dollars? That's your life. That's your life. Yeah, it's just oh, cost your soul. You, know, you should know me, bro. I you I, you know what? I have a whole I have a whole list. I have a whole list of bro. all the concerts I've been to in my life, bro. Oh okay. And that shit's like I've seen. I've gone to like. Well, I, nah, I've seen like eighty-five artists, bro, live before. Damn, this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm about my concert shit, bro. Actually, nah, that's cap. It's more like sixty. Um, but nah, it's like I'm about my shit, bro. Like I've seen, 
anywhere from Bruno Mars to Rihanna to damn Saba, Lil Uzi, fucking Brockhampton to damn Danny Brown. No. Bunch of shit, bro. I guess before we dip up out of here, I just want to say fuck a few of these content creators. Uh, starting with Club Cop, you a bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Um, Neon, of course, will always be on that list. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead Neon. and add. I'm gonna go ahead and add Bruce to the list too. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, no way. Aiden, fuck that nigga. Damn. Um, yeah, I guess Dream. <laughs> Dream even. It's just so funny. Dream I mean, no, he did. Bull? No, he. No, he. He did do some controversial shit. Never mind. Yeah, that nigga is the epitome of you should be canceled a long time ago, but you're white. Ain't dream it, ain't yeah. dream it EDP, ain't dream it EDP. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like like the rest of the Minecraft. Like He's the more rest ADP of the Minecraft than EDP. Community. I don't know how the fuck he accomplished that shit. Wait, did that did that video drop of EDP getting caught again? Did it drop yet? Or no? <laughs> so the dude uploaded it to his Patreon, oh, and then what? niggas leaked that shit like a week ago, but it only uh-huh. showed EDP in the video for three seconds. Oh. They just showed him like, "Yo, it's EDP." And then he got in the car and drove away. And was like, "Damn, what?" <laughs> I seen that like, video. Niggas are like, "Bro, that's all, that's what we waited for." This bullshit. So he, he didn't release to the public because everybody was baking video, his ass. It was like a TikTok. I don't know if it's. I'm pretty sure it might be old, but it, it's some dude recording like in a grocery store, and they approach EDP because he's shopping. They're like, "Yo, are you EDP?" He was like, "Oh yeah, what's up, man?" Yeah. And he's like, "You." You nasty ass motherfucker! Like you know, the video stops right there. Oh, like looks <laughs> at him, looks up at him, mass low. <laughs> I, I just don't know how the niggas live. Like when they do shit like that. Like when you when you like like I, cause he, he might be a really like be like a like an anomaly, I guess, because he might be the only person on the internet that got like genuinely canceled, like genuinely, and has to like, just go around Earth, just like like people just know who you are when they see you. Like you're like you're like a living meme. Like you're a gift. People know who you are. No matter like what the age is, and they just know you for just doing all the shit you did, and like you just have to live with that. You can't do nothing. You can't get a job. You're like it's crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that y'all want to add to the list. Uh, really? Bruce been no. corny. Um, Aiden, <laughs> Aiden, 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 Aiden Bruce corny. was your man. He was. I mean, I, and I still respect. I still respect it in the sense of like you know he was grinding since thirteen. Gave his mama a house. I I respect the grind. I respect the consistency. But now it's just played out. Now it's just like, to me, it's either like it's genuinely it has to be like some type of like him. Like when it comes to him, your rage and Kai, it has to be like they're just like they're doing this shit on purpose to keep like you know their names talking about. Or I mean like, but they don't really need that though. Kai's at a Kai's at a Drake concert. You know what I'm saying? Like Rage's got a big ass kick deal, and he got a deal from Phase. Low key. We keep another bug. Like ever since everything happened, Bruce has been like the lesser of the. Because before he like he was the more of the three. Now it's like Kai. Kai skyrocketed. He probably have Drake on stream soon, probably too. And then, um, Rage. I say Rage got the the phase. Like getting like I know phase is not like not what it once was, but like getting a deal from phase is still getting a deal from phase. And you know he got the money from Kick. Kick is getting bigger too. They getting more people over there too. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I even saw Belize talking about going to kick. He said he wants to go. I think it, like, it's not for like the reasons that some other people probably want to go to kick. I think Belize said he wants to go over there and be able to. Nah, niggas did. Stuff. Niggas did suggest like um, me going there just like watch anime and shit. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's like, what I heard. Because like I literally would not care about being banned off that shit. So if I got banned for watching an anime with niggas, I really wouldn't care. But it'd just be like the whole thing of like, I still got to deal with the chat. Like, the yeah. niggas that are watching the videos saying crazy stuff. Because there yeah. is no fucking rule set over there. So, I mean, that's just that whole thing. I mean, Belize said he'd go over there. And that's the nigga I look up to. So, if he does, I'm, I'd am i be more susceptible to it. Like, I'd be like, all right, but What the fuck? What? What happened? You going to kick, bro? Did not say that. I said I'd be more fuck. susceptible to it. I didn't say I wouldn't do it. <clears throat> if anything, I'd just go to watch anime. I wouldn't stream over there. I, I mean, you can still, you can still do it on cereal and just sit there and watch anime with niggas. You can still do it on Twitch, but I think you just, I think because I know Paz and them do, but you just can't, you can't put the VOD up. I think you just, and it has to be like some like, 
I guess like it has to be like some specific thing or something like that. I think well, I think I mean, you just K-K like is- right now people have like the because they're smaller streamers, they're not really have the eye on them. Mm-hmm. So like now, if, if you if you go to my chat right now and just like click on um people inside chat, you'll see like ample bots inside there. Not bots, but like ample moderators. Like maybe yeah. like two or three or four. It's yeah. just like names that like you're not a real person, dog. And they'll just always be inside there. So, like, the second that I do anything, like I got away with, like, accidentally playing slurs on stream a couple weeks ago because I didn't know that the videos would contain oh, yeah. that shit. The you know, yeah. like, I turned it off and, like, deleted the VOD and shit real fast. But, like, if you if you go into there willingly breaking a rule, then those fucking two or three moderators in there that have never said a single word that is always inside your chat are going to be like, yo... Get that nigga out of here, and then I lose my entire channel. So I, I just wouldn't wouldn't want to risk it. But for you. Kick, I just do not care. But for Twitch and YouTube, I obviously care because that's my yeah. livelihood. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. Uh, show and hold on Kick. I mean, I, I'm probably not going to do it. But I mean, it has been recommended that I should do it. But I'm just not really an anime nigga like that. Like it's cool. If you ain't not going there and like watch whatever show I'm watching at the time, like Adventure Time or some shit. Yeah, I know you've been watching that. I guess yeah. I mean, I, I mean, that's the, then kick is at at this point. Like, I mean, kick is getting bigger, and it's probably can stick around for a lot longer than mixer did. But I guess and it's like, like it has its uses. I guess yeah. as of more yeah, recently, well, it's not relying on controversy to blow up. Now it's kind of like just doing its own thing. Yeah, like it's not it's not relying on niggas to do wild shit to be like, yo, come to kick, you can do this too. Like now it's just kind of like niggas are just chilling over there. Nah, make sure it's like the biggest L, bro. Shout out Ninja and Shout. <laughs> yeah, shout out Ninja. That nigga robbed them niggas. Bag. I got a fucking ten, bag. ten mil for a month. Got, oh, they got that's a crazy. Bag. That's they crazy. said, yo, come here for two years, dog. We can sign you for ten million. I think only do it for like three weeks. And went right back to Twitch and got re signed to Twitch. Got a fucking bag. That shit's so crazy to me for real. I got respect it though. That that's the that's the that's the hustle. I don't. I don't know how much Shroud got, but I know it was in the millions. Too. Same, ten mil. Ten mil is they fucking. They both got ten mil. That's why they fucking fail. Cause even I know Kick is giving like big deals too, but like at least they're giving it to people like <laughs> after a little bit of time. Like they they just like open up the website. Like oh yeah, here we go, ten mil. Like nigga, you can let the shit breathe a little bit. And I heard that those numbers are mad fake. For Kick or for um... for Kick. Well, that's just for sure fake. I mean, because it's I, not I did, it's not even Kick coming out and saying this. It'll be the fucking dumbass niggas that retweet the same shit over and over again. It'll be those niggas like, yo, he's got signed for thirty five million. Like it's a like damn the fucking corny deal. niggas. Yeah, crying. And, then, and, and really, know. like if you go back and look, it's only those niggas that say that shit. And I even really? saw rage. Like, where the fuck are y'all niggas getting these numbers from? Like, it's not true. At They'll all. be saying okay. bullshit. It's definitely a bag, but it's not like no, because like the the kick deals, not the kick, the mixer deals were actually mixer deals, because like that was that was Microsoft, Microsoft and like them niggas like them, like they have money to really throw, and not to say like kick doesn't, but I mean they they, they would be announcing that shit for real if they, I, they honestly yeah. maybe I don't, like, kick probably just learn from mixer, they probably like, we're not gonna just be like just telling niggas just outright what we're giving to people, okay? that makes no goddamn sense. No, but that make it more incentive to go over there, like y'all can get signed for that much. And they always, they're always coming out saying, um, because I'll just see them like retweet or tweet out like, yo, we just went to this random niggas thing and donated 250 subs. That nigga rich now. Like, they'll always just be tweeting shit like that. So, like, why wouldn't you say that you signed a huge person for a crazy amount of money to, like, keep niggas, like, grinding to try to get to that point? That's true. I get that. They're just probably just playing it differently. I mean, the like their poster boys aren't still too good though. Like Aiden's is Aiden's Aiden. Like that whole we we even talk about that, but like that whole Kim Jong Un thing is for sure puts that nigga in like <laughs> top top three. He might be top one corniest nigga. Bruce is no, Bruce like like in history though, not even in content creation. Like that yeah, might, you might be three, top yeah. three corniest nigga in history. And then Bruce, Bruce not there yet, but he's he's not even it's not even corny. It's just like I don't know what's going on with that nigga. He's like spiraling, like genuinely. Like I mean, it's just I'm, I hate when niggas put on the front. Like don't act like you are like this person that you know respects people's pronouns and shit. Like when you over on Twitch and like doesn't say slurs and 
are slow and F slow. And then as soon as you are allowed to do it, you just could start going crazy with it. Like, so nigga, you were just lying then. If you lie about something that small, like imagine if I went on kick right now and you just saw me saying like, yo, F slow, yeah, going crazy and shit. Then y'all would be like, who is this nigga that we've known the past two years that was so against that shit? And now he's just so willingly saying it because he's allowed to say it now. Like, that shit is threads, so corny dude, to me. Just whole threads. Like him, like the him and like yeah. the people beef with Kai and them. Like I was I was just looking at like he's now he like he's like beefing with Yachty. I thought him and Yachty were close for real for that. I thought they were boys. He's beefing with Yachty now, supposedly. Or not beefing, but like I guess like said stuff in the DMs about him. He saw he he said they said he said stuff about Hamlins. If y'all remember who Hamlins is, like back from Fortnite was kind of popping, like during the you know the TSM days, it was TSM Hamlins, Myth. And uh, Daquan, I admit is still around. Obviously, he's not really. In, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's still in TSM, but he's like doing other yeah, stuff. He's doing his thing. Um, but I guess he, I guess like Hamlin's got a deal with Kick or something like that, that or something. And he was like dissing that nigga too because he, he's like, oh, he didn't he didn't get as much money as I did or something what? like that. I'm like, I don't know. This is and then and people are like and these are these are like real DMs and people are like you know screen recording it and like showing that it's actually Bruce saying all this and he's like saying some crazy shit in the DMs some crazy I'm not even reading it all I just I was just kind of skimming through guys I, I just I don't give a fuck anymore to even follow yeah, it I but love being just, a J Cole uh, nigga I love being a J Cole nigga absolutely absolutely and we we niggas we just kind of stay on our grind I love being a J Cole RDC nigga you see how anyone that do be, that kind of sticks in that lane is be prospering is true true just, I mean, just uh, like minding their own business. Like, just doing what they need to do to, you know, to keep their nose to the grindstone or the fuck that bullshit is called. Like, niggas just be just chilling and grinding. That's it. Like, I don't got to keep my name in bullshit. Side. I mean, yeah, so I mean, what? that's in the same lane, though. We was talking about, like, being a J. Cole or a Kendrick or, like, a Wale or, like, that type of nigga over being, like, a... Wale. <laughs> yeah, just random ass, just, like, grinding nigga over being, like, a fucking, some new school nigga. I don't fuck with them new school niggas. I don't know. Them like, niggas. We saw it at fucking DreamCon. Like, everybody on AMP was wearing chains. And RDC was wearing, like, fucking sweatpants and shit. On some Adam know. Sandler. Hell yeah. I, I gotta be like that. I gotta be like that. I don't know. I think it's just how you, like, what you just, you know, how you're brought up. Not how you're brought up. Like, well, I guess, like, what media you consume when you're growing up. I can, you know, like, Kai and Empire would just, like, just love that whole rapper lifestyle, I guess. I'm... Like I guess so to them it might be in the sense of like I want to get to that level of you know money I guess or just like status I'm gonna do it through streaming I think the other people are like and I you know of course they're good at it like you know Kai is very entertaining he has great he be just doing whatever and it's like a damn cartoon that's the best way I can explain it like it just be having shit happen just on the on a whim I feel like people like already seeing them like not to say like they work harder than Kai or anyone on the new school side, but just like, and they have like a real love of the craft. Like if you go to DreamCon and you're listening to Mark and Af and all like the, nigg- the niggas like you really don't like hear a lot. Uh, Cause Af was really just talking about this, talking about cameras and recording and shit like that for like a smooth hour. And we were actually, I was like so invested. I don't even know nothing about no damn cameras before that. But I came out like knowing a whole lot about Sony and just things like that. So I, I guess like I just more in tune with that, you know. But, you know, it's just like that. I guess for real. Sure. All right. Well, I think that's it from my side. Unless y'all want to bring something up. If y'all want to mm-hmm. talk about the what's it called, I'm cool. I'll mute up. But if y'all don't, fuck rap Twitter. Right there. I'm not, huh? I'm not even... Fuck rap Twitter. <laughs> that's true. That's yeah, true. That's, that's true. true. Fuck Twitter as a whole. Like the. I'll, now that I noticed that shit just be mostly promotion, I just, that's just all I see now is niggas promoting shit behind the guys of like, yo, what did Sexy Red just do? And then see 25,000 niggas tweet that same fucking tweet. This is Elon, dog. I, I'm, I'm kind of glad he's doing it in a sense because I know eventually like Twitter will be like, like this, I guess, like lose its thing like it's gonna be it might become like an like an instagram where like people just now don't really scroll on there anymore and it becomes all just propaganda and just ads and that's like that's all it takes is for tiktok to be like yo y'all can y'all can say words and stuff now when you slide left again and then take twitter's literally out of here like a tiktok adds some sort of like implementation of like you're able to just send out words like in the same way the tweet does yeah it's literally over for them because everybody's on tiktok 
I used to go to Twitter for like just like just to just hear about stuff, see what's going on. Like now that everyone got blue check marks, now everyone is a credible source. Now everyone's just putting stuff like, oh, this had this happened. And who's the source? Me. I said it. Okay. okay. And there's twenty five thousand community notes saying no, the fuck is not true. I Ooh, love community, those. Your notes. community notes be funny part. as hell. It might be the best parts of the damn app at this point. So it's a game. Could it be? They, they be, I think Elon said something in the notes. Were like, fuck no. Like it's just no. Because so <laughs> no, Elon said <laughs> Elon said something like, "Yo, I'm about to off myself," and it was like, "Yeah, that's true." Like, what the? F- it said like some crazy shit. <laughs> I could agree with him being like, I don't know, like wanting to get rid of himself type shit. I gotta go back and find the tweet. But that shit was insane. Yeah, no, definitely. It's definitely. Fuck Twitch. Not fuck Twitch. I mean, fuck Twitch. But fuck Twitter. Um, fuck um, all those creators that Apollo said. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's it for me. I got nothing else to say. They did that that one. Well, that one. Uh, that might be a whole nother thing. I think you already talked about that with Pan about what that girl saw on the plane and how she she can't speak about it. Or some crazy shit. That might be a whole different thing. I want more. I want more stuff to come out about that. Yeah, nothing really been updated on that shit. Just that she can't speak about it. Sir, uh, that might be it. All right, bet Taco closes out. Ah, you didn't close this out in like five weeks. You didn't choose to be Spider Man tonight. Uh, nah, um, Doc God kind of punctured my liver. Anyway, what the? He beat no your ass. Deal. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Um, but what the fuck has been here and now. You already know this is Jazz. Yeah. This is Taco. Yeah. And this is Apollo. Oh and fuck Drake. That B was fucking the worst album of the goddamn year. This album sucks. It's oh a one point one out of ten. That's what that's what yeah, the energy that, that we wanted to see today. But you you kinda cool. Not at all. Yeah, you're kinda cool. I wanted you to come in here like Fantano. Okay, now he gave it a five out of he gave it a five out of ten. Perfectly mid. Fuck that nigga. Damn. 